What's up, everybody? My name is Parker Ament. My name is Danny Ferrari. And we are Excellent Sound. Today, we got a brand new camera angle for you guys. New camera angle, new video. Yeah, we're trying something brand new, you guys. We got the skateboard cam. That's right. Super fish eye. There's going to be a lot of this. Missy Elliott. There's going to be a lot of these, dude. The Diddy cam? The Diddy. Do we go there? That, he used to use that shot a lot. Was it? Did he really? Yeah, the, the fish wide eye. angle. Yeah, sorry, oh, dude. No. sorry guys. Hey, we like wide angles. <laughs> the Diddy shot, bro. <laughs> Can you imagine what that looked like? Oh the man, the Missy Elliott shot, the the skate video. That's we'll keep it more. Yeah, that. yeah, we'll, skate. Yeah, more skate, appropriate. Fish eye. If you guys like it, comment down below, and we'll give you some more fish eye Diddy cam. Yeah, we brought the and we brought the mics back. Let us know if you guys prefer these over the labs. Yeah, tell us how we sound. Yeah. Today we got a brand new video for you guys. We are doing. Liney's section. That's right, bro. Not Fred again. Mm. Nope. He's not out. victory lap. Mm -mm. No copyright right here, dude. Nope. It was We're giving credit where Liney. credit is due. Yeah, bro. Go off for a second. You want to go off, or we we could hold yeah, it till just, later. Yeah, just just real quick. You know, you got to give smaller artists the credit. Okay, yep. Fred again. You can't be dropping people's drops into your song and not giving your boy credit. Okay. Uh -oh. Liney has the song of the summer. Section's the song of the summer. Huge, huge it's the banger. song of the year, actually. Banger. You know what I'm saying? I yep. went to like a ton of shows. Everybody's playing it. We see it all over online. Yep. You got to give your boy Liney credit. Absolutely. So big shout out, Liney. Can't say it enough. You're the man. We'll You're talk man. more about that whole situation because it's kind of interesting. But yeah. I think I think Fred again eventually did give him credit. But yeah, he did. It was a little late. Took a but, little bit, but hey, we'll talk about it's it. Okay. Just look, look for a clip in, in the future. And of course, this is all stuff from Quest for Bass Volume 2. Yeah, access, this is bro. all from Quest for Bass. Quest for Bass Volume 2 is out finally. It's on sale. We're doing a little bundle for you guys. And also, Black Friday is coming out. That's right. So if you guys want to save some money, don't be getting no big screen TVs. Nope. Get okay? some excellent packs. <laughs> Get some excellent packs, okay? I'm so excited for Black Friday every year. Yeah. I make the plug-in list. Yep. You sometimes put some plugins on there. I add a couple there. things. You're the plug-in guy. I let you kind of go off. Yeah. I, I trust you. Yeah, you I try to get as best, all the best deals. Yeah. Real quick, we got a 20% off coupon all month of November, That's okay? Right. We got some crazy surprises for you too, so make sure you guys are on our email list. We're going to be sending out crazy stuff. We got some bundles. We got some custom bundles, so right. just in case, you know, me and Danny miss some things or, you know, it just wasn't your... Your feng shui. If you don't like the bundles we built and you want to build your own, if you think we don't know what we're talking about, you could do that. We have like a little custom bundle builder this year, which is super exciting. That 20% you're talking about is in the description down below. So if you guys want to use that right now, you can actually use it on Quest for Base Volume 2, which is pretty cool. We never do that with new packs. Yeah. But it's it's Black Friday month, bro. I'm so excited. So dude. you guys know we got a bunch of stuff going on. So, dude, what do we got, bro? What what sound are we doing from this track? All right. Bro? So let's jump in, you guys. We are doing the main drop sound of section. It sounds a little something like this. Everybody in my section. The Benny Everybody Ode. Dude, it's so sick because he uses the satisfaction vocal yeah. in like the most creative way ever. Yeah. You know I love that people are doing that. They're taking old, like EDM songs are becoming old, and so they're sampling old. EDM songs, so yeah. like they're sampling like the pre-drop thing. That's a whole other conversation we got to talk about. I know we got so many hot yeah. takes. We're gonna get ready. We're gonna do some bad boys for you. But this sound was a fucking pain in the ass, dude. It was one of the hardest sounds. It was ever. annoying. It wasn't hard to make. It was just hard to match it exactly. There's a lot of weird shit going on with the yeah. MPE and stuff. So before we start, you guys, we have a ton of automation on this main sound. Okay, let me just solo it for you, and you guys can kind of get a little preview of what is to come. <laughs> so many weird so many weird things going on Liney was going off bro yeah if you guys like what you guys are hearing you guys can get way more of these sounds in quest for bass volume 2 and if you guys want to get this project file just join the patreon dude. link in the description mm -hmm. and we got this preset for free and the rack the first thing that you're going to want to do is go to the mpe so everything is in d and if you didn't know you guys can actually pitch shift with mpe a lot of you guys were actually texting me a lot of my friends were texting me when they opened up project files from quest for base yeah and they're like how are you guys doing the pitch how are you and i was like dude open the mpe file so it's right here really really cool way to get that really like jolty pitch it's kind of like pitch bend but it's like is it smoother like how would you say with mpe i just 
it's, I think it's easier to see the note. It's, it's not just semi tones. The notes. You guys can get really accurate with hitting each thing when you hold command. It'll shift to each step, which it, is really, as opposed really nice. to like a specific numerical value, which yeah. can be like in between pitches. So that's why I think MPE MPE is nice. It's kind of goaded over pitch bend in that oh, sense. Oh, for sure it is. For sure. I don't even use pitch bend anymore. Yeah. Honestly. So let's jump into the sound. Okay. We're gonna be doing two oscillators. We're gonna have oscillator A and we're gonna have oscillator B. Now oscillator A is gonna be a sine wave and we're gonna do a saw wave for oscillator B. Before we get into all the craziness, we're gonna go to our envelope. We're gonna shape the sound. We're gonna have a very percussive attack and we're gonna have the hold all the way down. We're just gonna be copying the release and the sustains right over here, okay? It's kind of like little- It's a little plucky with a little bounce, but yeah, not too plucky. Little, little plucker. Standard lead. Yeah, exactly. First thing that you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go minus two on the sine wave and then the saw, we're gonna go octave up two and we're gonna be feeding this guy into oscillator A with PD, which is essentially just FM. And we're gonna put that to 37% and that's gonna sound like this. Nice. The other thing too that I forgot to mention is we have a plus seven macro on the semitones, and that's just to kind of match the correct notes and all of the pitch bending in all of the automation. And yeah. we have that right over here. On oscillator B, it, it shows zero, but actually if you're trying to match it exactly like ours, you would want to put your semitone to plus seven. But add a macro like Parker is saying, because that macro, shifting that macro and automating it at different semitones helps actually make the sound. And if you guys are trying to make your own thing with it, if you are automating that macro, you'll get some really cool, cool results. Yeah, a lot of presets in other packs, like they don't do that. Yeah. And it sounds good right out of the box, but then when you want to make it your own, it's Yeah, like, or you change notes, it's like kind of, it's yeah, not as, you it change the as key and yeah. you're just like, oh, it's over. Make sure you do that. Next, we are going to want to make our LFOs, okay? We're going to be making four LFOs. Now, the first one, we want a super, super attacky pluck. We're going to be doing the course pitch of B, and we're going to be putting that to 9%. Now, let's hear that. It's like a quick pitch mod. Yeah, just a quick pitch mod. We also put sync on here just to kind of be able to customize the sound a little bit more as well. LFO 2 is going to be this long ramp. It's it's not even a quarter pipe, dude. It's not, no, it's not <laughs> a quarter pipe. That's like the bottom half of a of like a snowboard jump, I like Yeah, to say. I like that. Um, and then LFO 3, just keep it default. We're going to be using this for kind of like that vibrato. And then LFO 4, we're just doing straight down ramp. So now once you have all of the LFOs, let's move on to the filter. We're going to want to do MG low 12. We're going to put the cutoff to 107 hertz. Res all the way down. We're going to be putting the drive to 33%. Fat all the way down. We usually like to make it a little fat, but for this guy, all the way down. And then we're going to put LFO 2 on the cutoff. Sounds like this slow op it's like a it opens it and then closes it slow which kind of causes like a little bit of pitch pitch modding yeah this is like such a unique sound because it's almost like two sounds in one where it's very plucky yeah. and then there's a big sustain yeah. on it okay now for lfo3 we're going to be putting on the fine tune of oscillator b and it's going to be creating some vibrato vibrato you know nine percent it's that shakiness in the sound yeah, sounds really, really sick. And then I think that is it for this page. Now we're gonna be going to the post-processing. I love Serum 2's effects section now. It's so colorful and yeah, like, it, it looks really looks so helps. much better. There's so much more, like the visuals of the filters and stuff like that. For the first effect, we're using Diode 1 for the distortion, and that's just gonna be kind of beefing up the sound. Drive is gonna be at 45%, and we're using Diode 1. <laughs> Really, really nice. And then next, we have an EQ. We are putting LFO2 to create some more movement. So first, we're gonna be putting it on the low frequency. The frequency knob is at 81, and we are moving it up 15%. And then also on the gain, we're putting it up to 10%. And that's really giving you that low end bump. Just boost that low end right there. Yeah, it's a little hard to hear right now, but once we put the EQ LFO onto the high, it's at 171, and we're moving that guy up to 19%. You can hear it a little better. It's a little pop. 
Yeah, and then also the gain is at 14 decibels, which is really nice. We're starting to carve out the sound and accentuate the kind of natural characteristics of what we did in the oscillators. Also, I forgot, before we get to this EQ, there's also a filter on the diode coming out, cutting those highs. If you want to hear it a little bit better. We're kind of sculpting the sound into the EQ. Now, after the EQ, we have our multiband compressor. Really pulling out that sound. Ratio is four to one, attack is all the way down, release is all the way down, and gain is at 11. I got a discrepancy. Is is what this is the, the stock? Is this the stock OT? Like, okay, so that's not the stock setting, right? So a stock yeah. setting would be like ratios of four, attack ninety, release ninety, and then gain at zero, right? Uh huh. On the multi band. So okay, so that's stock, right? Yeah. Now, if I A beat this with Serum One's multi band, it's not going to sound the same. I think. Oh no, for sure. And I think it's because the highs over here on the H, M, and L, uh -huh. like you could pull those up. I think that those are actually different in the old Serum One really? versus yeah. So I kind of want to. Well, so these are the outputs. Right, but I think that if you look at the old multiband, like you can see that there's different outputs. I want to like, I want to find a way to A-B it and see if that's correct. Do you guys let me know at home if you guys think that's correct, but I think that that's not the same default anymore. That because, is a discrepancy. Because I've been pulling up some of the highs, mids, and lows, and what I'm going to do is if I find it, I'm going to save the old OTT setting of, yeah. of Serum 1. This one, I feel like the default, the highs are a little higher. Yeah, it doesn't, right? I don't know. It just, it doesn't feel like it's the same, and I think it has... I. My, my theory is it has something to do with those those 0.0, because 0, those are not there in Serum 1. Yeah. But you can read out, I believe, if I remember correctly, there is a readout that shows like there's more dB in the highs, mm, mids, and lows. Yeah, for maybe the... we check it with Fab. Yeah, I'll have to check. I like that. Just a quick little fun fun thing I just noticed. Yeah, I like that. So after you multiband compress, we're going to add a little bit of a hall reverb on there. Danny hates this. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to have the size to 35%, pre-delay all the way down, decay 3.1 seconds. I hate the reverb is what you mean. Well, there's a macro on it, looks like. We got a little bit of macro at the mix at like 20, 20%, looks like. Yeah. I do like the reverb in Serum 2, but like it's hard for me finding where it is helpful. Does right. that make sense? Yeah, like no, they're totally. They're fun to throw on things, but like when I'm actually needing a reverb, do I use it? I don't know, I don't know. It just doesn't sound good. <laughs> I said it. <laughs> I know, you said it. It doesn't sound good. Uh, I, just I can't it get to it to sound useful, good. You know? I can't, shut up about the Convolve. <laughs> the Convolve doesn't sound good either. <laughs> I know. All right, moving on. So now we're putting another filter on, MG Low 12. We have the cutoff at 134 hertz, res all the way down, a little bit of drive at 15%, fat all the way down. It's essentially the same shape as what we did in the other window. And we're gonna put LFO4 on that. We are putting it all the way up to 65%. Ooh, wee! Again, sculpting. A lot of these kind of sounds, these like UKG sounds, mm -hmm. it takes a lot of EQ and sculpting to yeah. kind of bring the sound out. I like adding filters after the reverb too sometimes. Really? Yeah, because it kind of, I don't know, it makes it more darker. You also, you it feels better. It does. Right? Yeah, sometimes an EQ after a, like a like a filter, or like a low pass filter after a reverb, like, I don't know, it sounds cool, especially yeah. for these type of sounds. And then after our filter, we're adding another EQ at 243, Q at 43%, and we're bumping that. This really nice low end bump right here. And then we're cutting some more highs at 4K, Q is 60%, and the gain is minus 17.8. Bro, shelves are goaded lately. What? When were they not goaded? I don't know. I like shelves. <laughs> I've been fucking with shelves lately. Yeah, I mean, dude, I feel like a lot of our hearing is kind of getting lost, you know? And that's why we're shelving? And that's why we're shelving. Oh, well, that's not good, then. You know? But, no, it, it is goaded. It is goaded. I, I, I want to I think that our hearing is okay. I just you know like getting saying? different shapes with, with the shelf. Yeah. After this EQ, we're going to add a distortion, just a nice tube distortion, and we're putting the mix at 35%, and... <laughs> Just to kind of bring that hair out. Got a little bit of hair in there. Oh, yeah. And then, who would have guessed it? Another EQ. We're going to be cutting those lows at 290, Q at 35%, and gain at zero. A little high passer. Oh, yeah. Or you can get rid of that OTT that you added, too. That's the one that I was... Oh, is it on? Yeah, it sounded good, though. It kind of cleaned up that... Yeah, it uh, sounds good, actually. Yeah. Whatever, we'll leave it on. Fuck it. <laughs> 
All right, and that is essentially the sound, you guys, okay? Now, we added a ton of different macros to this so you guys can really make it your own. After this, we kind of wanted to clean it up a little bit more, so the post-processing is essentially the same thing to kind of make it fit in the mix, but also we're gonna be kind of doing the same filters on the post-processing. So we're cutting the lows because we have a dedicated sub, and then we're throwing a nice roar on which you just got into, right, Danny? Multi-band saturation, it's awesome. Yes, super, super nice. So we boosted the drive a little bit here. The mids are up 19%, and then the highs are 12%. I really love, I, I enjoy Roar as well, man. Yeah. I try to use it as much as I can instead of overdrive now. You it's know? really good to shape, shape sounds. And if you don't have Ableton, if you guys are on FL, you can try using something like Saturn that's a multi-band saturation and just try to match the frequencies and stuff that we're doing in Ableton, like yeah. Parker just showed. And then after the roar, we're just going to finish it off with a nice sculpting EQ, cutting the lows and cutting those annoying highs. It's, it's kind of nice sound. with the highs in, but this really sculpts it. Yeah. Now let's hear it all together in context. Everybody in my section. Everybody in my section. So really, really sick sound. Yeah. I think this is also a really like unique sound that you could be putting in the background. It could be the forefront, yeah. but it could also be a nice lead, you know? I just like that you can really tweak it and mess around with the automation. I mean, if you see the automation points that we have here, the really only thing that we're really tweaking is the semitones of oscillator B, the octave of oscillator B, and then some pitch bend that's just doing basic just slow pitch bend down like two semitones. It's not a lot. Exactly, yeah. It's very it's subtle. Slowly going down and then that MPE is starts also, yeah, the MPE. like right there, like halfway through. Because the MPE changes it to a different note, which is why it's so weird if you listen to it. I mean, this is our best way. I don't. It, it might be a lot simpler. Liney might have done like something a lot simpler, but totally. There's definitely like some automation going on in the sound, and that's just to show you like you can get a lot out of just one sound if you find the right parameters to modulate or automate. And you can get totally. some really interesting stuff like this. I mean, this is a hit song, and it's just, it's kind of a simple sound. It really but what's is. What's going on in between the sounds of all the different automations and, and creativity is what makes it so interesting and not boring. Yeah. And the other cool thing about this song, too, is like there, he does one shots of like a piano. Just oh one my God. Note. Yeah. That's the best. Like, dude, it's so sick. His yeah. vocals are really great. And like, you could learn so much by just checking out how he crafted the right. drop. You know what I'm saying? It just so, goes to show like how simple something like that, like it actually is simple, but if you took away all like the extra sauce and spices that he threw in there, this song would be boring as fuck. Yeah. It's just totally. dun, 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 dun. It's not like anything changing that much, but because he's manipulating the sound throughout and he has those parts where like, oh, here's like a random piano one shot yeah. as a fill. You're like, oh, that's sick. <laughs> totally. Because it's not not expected yeah but it fills out the entire and then the push me and, and the vocal stuff that's going on Bro, you know what perfectly. the size of his undercarriage is dude the big undercarriage like big Liney's got a under huge undercarriage Liney's got the biggest undercarriage out there dude. how many inches do you guys think he's a girth guy when it's girthy undercarriage oh he's girthy yeah he's girthy. It's long. so big <laughs> shout out line you guys yeah it's not Fred again, you know? <laughs> okay, I'm going to say it, all right? Not this is Fred. my hot take. I'm good. I'm doing a bad boys on this. I know, I we're going to do it. I'm gonna, we're we're, we're gonna going off. It. Big shout out, Liney. Go check out all of our bundles, all of the sales on our website. Black Friday is going all month of November. That's right, baby. Okay, if you guys want this project file, become a patron, become a YouTube member, join the community. Yeah. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe and comment your favorite part on the video down yeah. below. Give us a timestamp. Yeah, let us know if you guys copped Quest for Bass too. Lastly, tell us if you like the Diddy Cam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what do you think of the Diddy Cam and the Diddy Mics? <laughs> yeah, let's play it out. Everybody See you guys. Everybody in my section.